Welcome back. A new poll from CNN app this morning shows the president's approval rating has dropped seven points in the last month. This is as protests continue and coronavirus has just gripped the nation. CNN senior political writer and analyst Harry Enten joins us now. Harry, you've been following the numbers for, numbers for some time. I suppose I, I'm most curious, is this a moment in time or is this part of a trend line for the president? You know, I honestly think it's part of a trend. And, you know, let's take a look at the president's numbers right now. You know, his approval rating, as sort of has been mentioned, 38 percent. His disapproval rating, 57 percent. And that, to me, is a huge, huge number. And we have seen that across a number of polls where the president's approval rating has been dropping off. So it's not just this one. But take a look at the racial breakdown in the polls, which to me is so interesting. Mm. Look at this. Among whites, 45 percent approval. His disapproval rating, 52 percent. And we've seen this across a number of polls as well. It's not just minorities, but it's white voters who've been falling away from the president. And put this in a historical context, this is so important. L looking at all the presidents going back, what we see is the president's approval rating compared to all these folks. Look at those he's near, Carter and Bush. Those are two presidents who lost re-election, and the other one, 40, 45, also lost re-election. So he's with the group that lost re-election, not the ones who were re-elected. That, that was striking to me, too, re reading through it this morning, the historical perspective. What about how the president uh, is viewed by voters in both parties in terms of his response to the nationwide protests? Yeah, I think this is so important. So, you know, if we talk about the protests and you look at them, this is one of the first sort of measures of whether or not people are agreeing with these protests or not. And what we see is that they overwhelmingly are agreeing with the protests. 84 percent say that they are justified, these peaceful protests, versus take a look at how they're viewing President Trump's response to the protests. This is so important. Trump's response, 65 percent say they've been harmful. So the folks are with the protesters, not with Trump on this. And, you know, there's been all this talk about sending in the military, whether or not they should put down the protests. Our poll found overwhelmingly that folks were against that. Only 36 percent say it would be appropriate. Okay, so, so disapproval of the sitting president, is this translating into support for his opponent in November, Joe Biden? Uh, it overwhelmingly is. Take a look at this matchup that we have. It's just, it's unbelievable to me. 55% of voters right now say that they would vote for Joe Biden. 41 only 41% say they vote for the president. And that 55% is so important because it means that Biden's over 50%. I went back, I looked at the polls back in 2016. From this point onward, Hillary Clinton never reached this level. She never got there. She never got above 50 percent. So this means, especially looking at the other polling, that the president will have to take back some of Biden's supporters if, in fact, he wants to win. And take a look here at the issues that are so important to voters, right? I think this is so key. Look at this. On race relations and the coronavirus, the two major issues of the day, Biden is better. More voters say Biden would better handle it than Trump. The economy, which Trump is trying to emphasize, you get why here with 51 percent saying they trust him over Biden. But I would also argue that, in fact, that would indicate that even if the economy got better, Trump already has the economy on his side. I'm not quite sure that the economy going better would necessarily help him. And one last thing that I'll sort of point out, just the trend line, you know, you, you were pointing out, Jim. Take a look mm -hmm. here. Look at this. This is a top number for, for Biden, right? But in all of these polls, what do we see? We see Biden above 50 percent. That's such a key number. And in the average of polls, what we see is Biden also doing better. So this CNN poll, not an outlier. All right, Harry, we know you'll keep on top of the numbers. Thanks very much. It's all I have to do. A new, it, it is, and you do it well. Thank and we're you. glad you're back. Other story. Thank you. Hey. <laughs>